Today's video is a conflict of interest. Let me explain. So as some of you may or may not know, with the help of GigaParts, I helped create a series of telescopic carbon fiber masks for the portable ham radio operator, known as the GigaParts Explorer POTA20, POTA33, and POTA33H. They're fantastic masks, and I use them all the time. My friend Sean, uh, formerly of YouTube channel Ham Radio Dude, now uh, Dude Tested, decided to go a different route in his approach. And he has created a 20-foot telescopic carbon fiber mast. He went directly to the manufacturers. He had uh, a group of uh, viewers, supporters, uh, do some beta testing. I've, I've kind of followed the course um, throughout the whole project. Uh, and he was kind of doing that the same or similar time that uh, Gigaparts and I were developing the POTA mass. Now, because Sean and I are friends, he texted me uh, probably a couple months ago and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing his uh, mast. And naturally I said yes, because in a good economy, competition is a good thing. And again, I consider Sean a friend. So today, I wanna show you this. The HRD Industries Lil Dude 6. A six meter or just shy of 20 foot telescopic carbon fiber mast. And I have to say, Sean, your hard work has certainly paid off. This is one heck of a mast. It's very, very similar in size to the POTA 20. Uh, I'm out here in the field, so I don't have tape measurements, but I'll overlay some B-roll here of how long this is and put it next to the uh, POTA 20 and all that. But it's just, it's solid. It's freaking awesome. You've got a nice kind of etched part down here and then highly uh, glossed here. Nice lettering on the uh, label there for what it is. He also sent along his HRD spike, which I didn't bring out because I haven't glued it together yet, but it's basically a spike that goes in the ground and you remove this bottom cap. You, you've seen it in other videos that I've done uh, but he made it. He makes one for this mast, and he makes one for uh, my POTA 20 and POTA 33 mast. But once you have this mast extended, you you stick the spike in the ground, and the spike goes in here, and it's probably about that big. So it's it's it goes in here enough to keep it rigid. It's not just a little spike that sticks in the ground and then only uh, goes in a little bit. So removable bottom cap. That's great, and it comes with. There's like a plastic cap that goes inside, but this guy here is something, Sean's really big into 3D printing and he does a great job at it. This is a cap that he designed uh, with a little uh, paracord on there. Uh, now he mentions, you don't really wanna pull the cap off with the paracord. This is kind of just for, I don't know, being there. But he's put a hole in here. So when you pull the cap off, the top section of the mast comes with it, just like that. So makes it a little easier. You don't have to tip it upside down and dig out the mast uh, first top section like that. Just just a nice little detail there, and again, very nicely 3D printed. I think he's I, I don't know what printers he uses, but I'm gonna guess he's got some of those Bamboo Labs ones. I know he's got quite the printer farm uh, at his house. So let's put this guy up. I've got a uh, Xtena. Uh, 40 meter end fed half wave with me and uh, let's see what this thing can do. But I guess we gotta talk about the top section first. Look at that guy, nice thick top section there. The uh, each element, if you wanna call them, nice and smooth. We don't have, um, like on the POTA 20 and POTA 33s, we've got an eyelet. We don't have an eyelet here, that's not a problem. Most of my telescopic masks don't have an eyelet. And in fact, this little S beaner that I clipped on here, I'm gonna swap out on my antenna. But what we want to do, I'll leave links for these, but these are little S-beaners. And when I get these, I drill a hole in the center. 
okay? And what that does is allows me, bugs, to slide the, the mast into the uh, S-beaner there, and then we can hoist up the mast. So now, let's raise this guy up. I mean, we gotta do, we gotta do the wiggle test, right? These are locking in very well. Now, when you're, when you're using these carbon fiber telescopic masts, you, you don't need to put a whole heck of a lot of pressure on these. Just, just I'm kind of pulling up and twisting just a little bit. So some people have emailed me, they've broken their mass. I would assume they're just yanking on these things. You don't need to give it a lot of uh, force at all, especially when it's hot out. These tend to want to expand as they're sitting out in the sun and then it makes it a little harder to collapse. So uh, be gentle with them, but man, this thing, it's freaking rigid. Let me get you. <laughs> oh, happy Gilmore there. But hang on. Hopefully you can see that. This is what the guys at the at Custom Rod and Gun in Lighthouse Point, Florida did when I was like a little kid and I would hang out there to, to test a fishing rod. They would do this. But look at that. I mean, this, this thing is freaking stiff. It is very, very rigid, but you've got a good a good flex to it, okay? That's important. That's very important. So let's uh, throw an antenna up. I also want to mention um, kind of early, not early, but when, when, I, when I first uh, moved to Texas, I bought the Soda Beams Carbon 6, a six meter mast, okay? And right behind us over there, is the Forrest Gump bench, and that's where I would set up all the time uh, and do some QRP activations with that mast. And that is what spawned me going to Gigaparts to say, hey, let's we need a better mast. So I say that to say this. A six meter mast is plenty tall enough to uh, deploy a 40 meter NFED half wave. Do it all the time. You don't need a 33. Of course, height is might. 20, 20 feet is plenty fine. So let's deploy this. Now, uh, another thing to consider, these aren't really made for really heavy antennas. You know, I'm using an NFED with 26 gauge uh, poly stealth wire on it. Um, I kinda, I, I have a J-pole with me, the Farrah J with me. I kinda wanna see what this will do with that deployed. So let's put up an NFED with this. And then uh, I guess we'll throw up the uh, Farajay because I have some really lightweight coax called Airborne 5 from Messi and Poloni. So uh, that should work pretty well with this. So let's get to doing that. Step one is don't get bit by snakes while I walk over here to deploy the wire. Beautiful. Then I can take our S beaner, slide that down thusly and raise it up. And we're gonna use the old K8MRD lean it into tree method. Kinda like that. Now I specifically came to this spot to do this video because there's a trail right here that I'm on right now. And people hike through here and they bike through here and the mast is right over there and the feed point is over here. So the goal is, is the mast not only tall enough, but rigid enough to keep the wire out of the way of people passing by. So the feed point here, I just stuck in the crack of the bench right there, okay? So we've got a pretty good amount of tension on it. But if we walk over here, and then it's black soda, uh, uh, poly stealth wire, so you probably can't see it, but it's there, okay? And we can walk underneath it. Like, no problem, okay? So, I don't know, maybe you can see the wire, maybe you can't, but I am literally walking underneath the wire right now. Even if I were on a bike, you'd, you'd never even know it was here. And the other thing, if we go back over here, this mast is freaking rigid. So, look at this. I mean, it's, it's not bending much at all. I don't know if we can see this but it is, it is doing the job. 
and is doing exactly what it is supposed to do. Just leaned into a tree. So that's friggin' awesome. It works, it works well. Now, let's throw a J-pole on it. So now I've got my Faraday two meter J-pole by Ben Eady. And we'll go ahead and raise this guy up and get it at vfcoms.com. They're fantastic. And again, this coax is from Messi and Poloni. This is their Airborne 5. It's a very lightweight coaxial cable. Solid center, very efficient, uh, yet still very small, compact, lightweight. Everything, everything a portable guy wants. So I just want to see how much this will weigh this mass down. And by the looks of it, <laughs> not much. We'll go ahead and put this in this tree here. Oh man, this is, Sean, this is looking good, dude. This is looking good, man. Look at this. Look at that. Let me, let me switch to my iPhone. I think, I think it'll give you a better, better shot. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's not even leaning over, dude. That is solid. That is solid. So very lightweight coax, very lightweight two meter J pole. Does it get much better than that? I don't think so. And then when you're done for the day, you take the cap, you slide it over the top section of the mast, tuck her in like that, and she fits perfectly in my bag. Look at that, or your bag. Doesn't stick up hardly at all. That's perfect. Sean, you did a hell of a job with this, my friend. Fantastic mask. They're available on Etsy. I think his store is on hold right now. I think he's taking a holiday, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can pick one of these up. Again, $73 and change for a hell of a six meter mask. My name is Mike K. Thanks so much for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time. 73.